Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morhen. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morhen. Sultan. Get out. I know where Siri is. Why are we here? Let's go get the lassie. I'll do that. But I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Siri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. I do. What do you want? Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morhen soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. Do you find Durgoff? Oh, yes. He was talking to some friends of my father. Poor chaps can't get their minds off politics, not for an instant. I truly hope they'll allow themselves some respite after the coronation. Big changes afoot in the Empire? You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Farewell. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher? Why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally. I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morhen's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Ciri. I will, if that's what she wants. Three pots of hearts Your royal majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come home, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mimi don't agree. Bran spent his life at sea. 
and while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. How's it feel to rule? Jarl's giving you any trouble? They're all very understanding. They seem to believe in me. Besides Lugos, of course. Tried talking to him? Could still win him over. I don't know about that. He's more mule-headed than my father, but I'll try, of course. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us, quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin, battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Ah, Geralt. How are things? The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Grandon. Telling you, Geralt. Since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an Uncrate. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now Wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. What's this about the Nilfgaardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not, we'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> City will be safe in Kertrold. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland Uncrate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam. Tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Uncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. I can't take this. You can. You must. Let me do this much, at least. If you insist. Thank you. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell.
Can we talk? The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. A Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Morhen. stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Yes. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? They call me Geralt. Who are you? Is that Witcher? I heard the ballad about this and all that sorceress. What's the name? Shut it! Yennefer. Sorceress's name is Yennefer of Vengerberg. Hi, that's it. Her eyes flashing lightning. Her heart an icy bed. And um, how did it go? My mum, dear, get yourselves together, lads. You there! Outside the door! Geralt! That right! Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck. Recently, beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. No way you can get to this isle conventionally. Crikey. You call a shipwreck conventional? Leave it be, mate. You know what he means. <laughs> Let me explain. A short while past, we were on route from Skellige to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain, who sold him a magic firefly for 40 to know the way to his treasure. This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. I'm not a demon. I'm trying to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. Coming too easy. How many are there? Me, Ivo, Gaspar, and Benny. Gaspard, where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist, said from date to be rescued. 
We had to take action, or at least he did. Plato spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be your dad. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. We can see what they... This Ivo, where do I look? Aegis insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally, bugger wouldn't budge. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Talk to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah! Dead. Damn. Tried to flee the fiend. Stepping the same dwarves too slow. Shame he's dead. to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. What? What's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. <sighs> Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. <laughs> It's a shame so many died. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc... I heard him, a blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... <gasps> I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. Friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! <laughs> you seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Ravenick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry.
What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? <laughs> you must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalog helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalog tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. 
Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eredin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. I told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us? We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. How'd you wind up here? What happened? Last I remember, I was on the Skellica shore, arguing with Avalok. He wanted to take me somewhere safe. After that, Nothing but dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine and... All around, people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dreamed, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn! Listen, we gotta think of a way to...
Welcome back, child. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Would you like a moment to yourselves? Sorry, we, uh, we didn't mean to. I know. It's a simple question. Do you want some time alone? Long as you really don't mind. Seemed to take that pretty well. Or wants us to think she did. Haven't been here in a while, have you? Too long. How's the guest room? Anything changed? Mm-hmm. The bed. It, uh... <laughs> Broke. Not a problem. We'll sleep on the floor. Spread out high and... <clears throat> Guess we should go. Yen, you know the Wild Hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic of the news. Their navigators open portals, rifts that we might counter with Dimeridium or our own magic. They also summon the frost that occupies the voids through which they travel. There's just not enough of us. Good to see It'll you. be a hard fight. And will be here soon. Head Jerry is upon us. The final age, the time of the end. Ah, Geralt! How are things? Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were gonna help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Cerus will take care of that. Farewell, Oncrate. Get ready, Fulan. Wild hunt's near. So Ragnar Rog is upon us. Ha! You found her. They told me the hunt was after her, that those buggers might burst in uninvited. So I've made a Mahakam and mix. When this plowing blows, it'll be bits and pieces, nothing more. Bring all your tools with you? Thought to myself, a battle approaches. Blades will need honing, plate will need some hammering, that sort of thing. Thought right. Thanks, Sultan. Plan to top that by brewing some more Mahakam and mix. Shade's so volatile, you need but glance at it to set it off like a flaming fart. Very useful during sieges. All right. We'll talk later, Zoltan. I certainly hope this gas will work. It shall. We must just ignite it at the right moment. And that hole, is that there for good? We shall worry about the hole once it is all over. And now, step back, Master Richard. Wolf? <clears throat> Anair! Anadar! Wolanda! She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him take her. Any Damn, progress? Is it junk? Barely younger than Vesemir. A 
Vasco. Greetings, Wolf. Elbow well higher. It's high enough. You drop it a bit every time you release the string. Apart from which, flaming projectiles require a different trajectory. You're here. Glad to see you. Huh. Set out alone, Vest tracked me down. Insisted on coming. I ought to give you a hiding for not asking my help. But I took it all out in Roach along the way. Ah, some old friends. What's this horse son doing here? We need him. You might have forgotten what he did. I haven't. I'll keep an eye on Letho. And I'll behave, I promise. Watch this murderer and you won't be watching the enemy. Why is the Kingslayer so important? Aridon's a king, innit? Fuck you both. We'll stay and help. But we don't want him at our backs. Roach. No desire to talk to you right now, Geralt. Vess, don't be mad. Fuck. Vess, don't be mad. Poor judgment bringing the Kingslayer here. Big fight ahead of us. How's morale? Remember our encounter with them at the Hanged Man's Tree? We'll thrash him again this time. An illusion. Greetings, Geralt. If you're going to die today, leave my dresser alone. Getting all gussied up for the wild hunt? Women only ever beautify themselves for their own satisfaction. Glad you're here. It's good to see you again. Expected you earlier. I started off heading in the opposite direction, but then turned around. What made you change your mind? There are times when a woman should simply not explain her decision. That goes doubly for sorceresses. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Wanna take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen'll dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erdin should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? 
Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this, my Hackerman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's the laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witches' traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letha will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Taking Letho with us. You know my opinion. Got a minute? Oh, serious talk coming. I won't let them take you. You know that. I know. You gotta keep clear. Stay out of trouble. Treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. I like it when you smile. Come here. Everything will be alright. <laughs> 